solving two-step equations. In the past, we've, we've worked with solving equations that only take one step. Um, and we've done addition and subtraction. We've done multiplication and division. So, for example, if you have 3x equals 9, well, this only really takes one step. You divide both sides by 3, and then the 3s cancel out, and you're left with x equals 9 divided by 3, which is 3. So that's just one step. Now, solving two-step equations, that's, that's normally when you have a combination of multiplication and addition, or multiplication and subtraction, or division and addition, or division and subtraction. And an example of this could be 5x, 5x minus 6 equals negative 21. Okay, you'll see here what's going on. You have 5 times a number, and then you take 6 away from that number, and that should equal negative 21. So there's going to be two steps here. The first step, first step in these, and this is typically true of these equations, is you're going you're gonna to take care of the addition and subtraction first. So in this one, you have a sub subtracting 6. Now remember, our goal is to solve for x. Solve for x. So we want to get x by itself. So you, you look at the x term. You want to get that on one side of the equation. So you want to get rid of the other stuff first. So we have a minus 6. And the way we get rid of the minus 6 is we add 6. Now, if you remember, uh, an equation is kind of like a scale that's balancing on the equal sign. And if you add 6 to one side, you also have to, ha you have to add 6 to the other side in order for it to balance. So we're going to do that here. We're going to add 6 to both sides. Now, on the left side here, we have a 5x minus 6 plus 6. Now, the minus 6 and the plus 6 are going to cancel out because negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So those cancel out, so you're left with 5x on that side of the equation. And then you have a negative 21 plus 6. And that's going to give you a negative 15. Okay, so far so good. And if you have if you have trouble with this, picture a number line where you start at a negative 21 right? We're starting at a negative 21, and then we're going 6 in the positive direction. So negative 21, negative 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, negative 15. And you keep on going, and zero's over here somewhere. And then it starts going in the, the positives. You have 1 and 2 and so on. Okay, but if you start at negative 21 and you add 6, you're going to end up with negative 15. Okay, so now we need to take care of this, the 5x term there. And the way we do that, right now what's going on is it's saying 5 times x. So we have to do the opposite operation. So the opposite of multiplication is division, so we need to divide by 5. And we have to do the same thing on the other side of the equation. We need to divide by 5. So 5 divided by 5, well, that's just 1, and then 1 times x is just x. So in this case, the 5s just cancel out, and you're left with an x. And then negative 15 divided by 5, well, that's just a negative 3. And that's it. You have two steps. Okay, let's do another one, and I won't explain the whole scale thing or the number line thing. We'll just try, try the problem and, and see how we do. So let's try this problem. We'll do we'll do c over 3 plus 13 equals 0. Okay, now we have a division here and we have addition. So remember we're going to be using the opposite operations to solve for c. And that's what we're doing. Solve for C. Solve for C. So let's take care of this 13 first. We're going to subtract 13 from both sides. 
and 13 minus 13 is 0. So we're left with c over 3, or c divided by 3. And then a 0 minus 13 on the other side is just going to be negative 13. Now to get rid of to get rid of the c divided by 3, we're just going to multiply by 3. Multiply by 3. And the 3s are going to cancel out, but let me explain why. You have c over 3, and we're multiplying it by 3. Now 3 is just the same as 3 over 1. So when we multiply, we multiply straight across. So we get c times 3, which is 3c, and then 3 times 1, which is just 3. And then we can cancel out the 3s there. So we cancel out the 3s, and we're left with c on one side. And then negative 13 times 3 is going to be negative 39. And that's our answer. OK, so that's how you solve two-step equations. And you may want to do some practice problems on this um, just to get a better understanding of this. And sometimes when you actually go through the work, it, it helps you to understand it better. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this makes a little bit more sense for you.